Bourbon Barrel Talk. I'm your host, Scott Minton. Today we are um, having the 12 Days of Odefo. Today is day 10 of the 12 Days of Odefo. And uh, Josh, we are trying the first hundo out of the Old Forester Master Taster series that Miss Jackie's eye can picked out. Do, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that after Fine. we introduce Tyler? So Tyler, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Welcome back. Day 10 of 12 Days of Old Fo. We missed you for a few days, but we're glad to have you back for day 10. So it went by quick. It really did. That's because we were drinking. On the 10th day of Old Fo, curbside selection sold to me, master taster selection, the first hundo, Old Forester single barrel, 100 proof bourbon whiskey. Curbside selection sold to me. Well, I had to say that because it is a master taster selection that I was able to pick up here during uh, COVID summer when Old Forester shut down their gift shop, but went to a uh, curbside pickup where you could randomly, some random day of the week, they'd send an email. And if you logged on within about five minutes, you could get the curbside pickup of the day. More like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> It got that way after the first two or three of the curbside uh, emails. But this is uh, this year in 2020, Old Forester released it, released the 100 proof single barrel and they did away with the 90 proof single barrel. So me, as you guys know, Old Foe fanboy loves and loved the 90 proof single barrel. Um, old Forester cut it out of their lineup, moved on to the 100 proof. And I'm not disappointed. It's really good. So this is one of this is the first hundred proof Tyler. Is that right? The first hundo. Yeah, yeah. The first three barrels um, that were selected for the single barrel program to be bottled at a hundred proof. Uh, I, maybe Jackie just wasn't um, feeling creative that day, or I don't know, or just it. It, it was more like a celebration. Um, these are the first three barrels, so she picked the first hundo, the second hundo, and the third hundo, and then we uh, now we're getting back into some of the you know fun quirky names. Um, I kind of like the first hundo. Yeah, absolutely. It's oh, a great it's a great name. A little different than barrel five thousand that got released for the barrel strength. Was I'm that like, barrel five thousand? Is that why it was called barrel five thousand? It was okay. Five thousand single barrel. I, I assumed that a, was the case. A but. really clever name, Scott. I listen, you just wanted Which to ask. also a celebration. That's right. It's a celebration. Birth. Celebration. <laughs> it's a celebration. So here we are, day 10, and we sort of walked up in proof as we came. We, we, we started out with the 86. We went to the 100 proof. Uh, we went to the rye whiskey at 100 proof, and then we went through – uh, the we went through the whiskey row series, which started us low. We went up and then came back down because we went through it in age in the year. The uh, went back to the the batch style instead of doing it by proof. Uh, we've done the ninety proof single barrel. Now we've ramped up to the single barrel hundred proof. Um, and so as we're talking about single barrels today, uh, specifically the hundred proof they're all a little different and, and that's what i love about old forester is you can go get two completely different single barrels picked on different days uh, different months different years or you could get two that are picked on the same day in the same warehouse on the same shelf same floor whatever you want to call it and they're going to be completely different barrels and completely different bottles and there's so much variety to it. So, and it's the same mash bill. That's what. The, that's the other unique thing about that. And what was that mash bill, Scott? Uh, if I remember, it, and Tyler might have to refresh me. I think it's what seventy five or seventy eight, twelve, ten. Seventy two, eighteen, ten. Seventy two, eighteen, and ten. And that's yeah. corn, rye, and barley. Correct. Yes, sir. And so that's one of those things that it took me a while to kind of hone in on as a drinker, as a, a bourbon drinker is what mash bill what what brand was for me and and as fanboy in me says old forester is it but there's no wheat in it there's no wheat in old forester's mash bill and that's for some reason i've just grown over the last few years of drinking bourbon to not be a wheat fan to not be a weeder or follow some of those other brands but i tend to like the uh, the high corn uh, the high corn brand so um, 
you may not have the hundred proof uh, single barrel that we have, which is the first hundo, unless you live local to Louisville and you were able to come down and pick it up on curbside, you may not have it and that's okay. But you go out and see if your local liquor store has a single barrel, 100 proof. And I think, uh, Tyler, you could probably give a little more info, but you guys have been putting these out for about five, six months. Yeah. Uh, June one, I think is, or forget if it was May or June. Uh, so a few other things were going on at that time, but, uh, sure. but, uh, yeah, it's, it's been, yeah, five, six months. Um, it, the response, thank you to not just you fanboy, but all the other fans out there of Old Forester because it's been going great here, like you mentioned with curbside locally, but it's amazing. Even stores in New York and Florida and California, the, the liquor stores there are selling out that day or within two, three, four hours. So for those of you out there who have gotten the opportunity to try these single barrels, uh, can't thank you enough for all the support, you know, out there around the country. For those of you who have not, we're trying, uh, there's only so much we can keep up with production wise. That's really the, the constraint, but you know, uh, this is, this is what we're going to be doing for the single barrel program for not to say forever more as, as trends change. And that's why we kind of moved to, uh, 100 proof and barrel proof but uh for definitely for the foreseeable future so you get a chance to get your hands on it so l let me ask a question here so on day i think it was day two we had the signature 100 proof signature can you tell our listeners that may not be familiar with a single barrel what's the difference between your signature 100 proof and a single barrel 100 proof it's exactly as it says whereas uh you know, the core expressions, uh, 86, one signature, 100, maybe 500 to a thousand barrels that we, we batch and dump together, uh, to create a signature flavor profile. Um, whiskey row is less than a hundred barrels. Single barrel is one single barrel. And you kind of alluded to that earlier that the fact that two barrels can be sitting, spend their entire lives right next to one another for four or five or six years. And they're entirely different because Really, at that point, it boils down to the 40 or 50 different trees that could go into a barrel. So they all have their own personality. Uh, they're just like fingerprints. Yeah. And this one's really, so uh, I've been I've been really nosing this glass really hard since while you guys were talking. And it's just got an amazing nose on it. And I can tell why Jackie picked this as the first one, one hundo. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm getting all kinds of crazy earthy wood notes to it. Um, I'm getting some leather um, like that old oiled ball glove leather. And then I'm getting, you know, some, uh, some more of that Earl gray tea, um, just all kinds of good, like those earthy notes. But then just in the very distant back, I'm getting some kind of a tropical fruit, but I can't make it out. I, and, I, and it's not a banana, but it could be like, maybe like a mango or something, but I can't, I can't put my, my, my finger on it. But I, Tyler, what do you think? Man, I couldn't agree more. That's the first thing that hit me with this is it goes from like sweet cherry pipe tobacco into, yeah, the, I love the glove oil, uh, a old worn leather glove to fresh potting soil. Um, it, and in like three seconds, it's just bam, bam, bam. You get all these beautifully uh, earthy notes that are intertwined with that with that fruit and then a, a nice hit of uh fall spice in the back too yeah it's got a great spice on the back end when you try it so uh all kinds of smells and aromas but when you taste that you put it in your mouth and it just it has that that really nice upfront mouth feel and then as it's going towards the back of your mouth i mean it just like felt like it punched my sinuses right there and it was really just it opens it up in amazing flavors and yeah, what's that little punching bag in the back of your throat i don't have one but they're called tonsils <laughs> tonsils no 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 the actual thing oh, that hangs at the bottom epiglottis <laughs> yeah whatever it's yeah. called anyway that, that it hit the very tip of that when it was going down into my throat and it's got a little tingle to it but it, i mean this is it, it's good man the first hundo it, it really it fits old forester and your single barrel program and it's just a phenomenal pour so hopefully our listeners that are out there today have picked up a single barrel and they're 
uh, they're able to taste through it and get something completely different and something that they enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you guys for sharing. Uh, for those of you at home, I have the same issue as you do. These are selling out so quickly. I, this is my first opportunity to try the first Tundo, so uh, glad you guys brought it. This is beautiful. Yeah, it, this is, I mean, it's it, 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 it's so much different than the other ones that I've tried, and that's that's just so what's so great about a single barrel program, and I tell people all the time, like, that's why I'm a single barrel snob. Like, I love single barrels because there's so much variation from barrel to barrel in, in what you're getting. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with batched products. I, I, I like those perfectly fine, but when you can try something and you just get something special from it, it just means that much more to me. And, and this has just got it. I agree with you completely. And, and that's why I could have 25 of these sitting on a table at home and they're all just, you know, which one you want to go to when you want to go to it. Like, the uh, and I'll go back to the ninety proofs that that I love, the the honey orchard or the cherry picker or after dinner mint or uh, sips well with steak. It, it's hilarious to me when I cracked open a sips well with steak this past summer, and I I decided I was going to grill a steak out and then <laughs> have it because you know that just seemed to be the the fun thing to do over the summer, and it, she's right. It does. So you oh, that one I, w- I I texted Jackie as soon as I saw the name, and I said, "Did you find my soul bourbon?" <laughs> so so you you said that, and the first thing that I I got whenever I started drinking this one was like, man, I can only imagine what this would be like with like a um, a barbecue glazed pork chop, like with this this pairing because it's got that nice pepper and it's going to really really cut through on the backside, and, and it's got all those caramely notes that just match with it. I, I, man, this. I love this pour. It's, um, I, I can't tell if I'm getting licorice in this thing, but I, I think I am. My nose may be a little off, but it, it is just a phenomenal nose, a phenomenal aroma, and a great flavor to it. And it's smooth with a bit of a punch to it, but smooth. Scott, so here we are. We're on day 10, the 10th day of Old Foe. I shared with you a bottle that you're likely not to have outside of Louisville, but I hope you can go find one, pick one up. So for days 11 and days 12, I may not tell you exactly what we're going to do for day 12 because we'll just make that a special day. But for day 11, we're going to try an Old Forester single barrel barrel strength. So just like the 100 proof we just sampled, Uh, The barrel strength, which should be out in the market, you may not find it readily available, but if you happen to get lucky on the day it gets delivered to your liquor store or your grocery store where they sell it like a Kroger, uh, you know, hopefully you can find one. So we're going to sample here. Uh, We're in Louisville. We're going to have a Cox's and Evergreen's Liquors uh, Louisville Bourbon Club barrel strength that we're going to sample the next day. For the 11th day? day. Yep. All right, sir. Scott Minton, Josh Hillman, Tyler, we're going to leave you with that. Um, Don't forget to subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, all the good stuff you can find us. Um, You can also look up our website, Bourbon Barrel Talk, um, www.bourbonbarreltalk.com. On the 10th day of old foe, I gave to you a single barrel 100 proof whiskey. All right, Scott, Josh, Tyler, signing off. Cheers, guys.